focus. Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother cannot be my disciple. At first glance, the readings of today contradict each other and end up confusing us. While the first reading says to love one another, the gospel says hate your loved ones. Why? It is natural for us to be attached to and possessive about someone or something we feel we cannot do without. That is why Jesus' words seem so absurd and difficult to accept. He sounds disrespectful to parents. How can we reject our parents or siblings or part with our wealth and most treasured possessions? An insight into the context will help us realize that Jesus doesn't mean to be harsh. He doesn't want us to shun our near and dear ones. He only wants us to give him the highest priority in life with no distractions, not even our most beloved. He asks us to sidestep all diversions and hurdles and look only to him. He tells us not to be obsessed with worldly relationships and material possessions. Jesus also warns us of the hardships and persecution we will face when we follow him. In short, this is the cost of being his disciple. Only sacrifice can make us his true disciples. Fruit when I look into my heart, I see several persons and things placed above Jesus. I will now change the order and put Jesus above everyone and everything else.